Today we are going to make SpaghettiOs. My girls like SpaghettiOs made with tomato soup. So we're gonna make tomato soup with just four or five ingredients. First thing I did was take an onion and I chopped my onion up. I'm gonna turn the stove on to about seven. I'm going to sweat these onions just a little bit. I'll put a little pat of butter in there. This is one large onion and probably a quarter stick of unsalted butter. Right now I'm just busting the onions up, making sure that they're single layers so that they sweat faster. You don't have to let them sweat too long because this is actually going to cook for 40 minutes. So after we sweated them a little bit, we are going to take a can that's 106 ounces or a six pound can of tomato sauce and we are going to put the tomato sauce in the pan. And it doesn't matter really which brand of tomato sauce that you want to use. Sometimes we use fresh tomatoes if we've just harvested from our greenhouse. Sometimes we use fresh tomatoes if we've just harvested from the greenhouse or from the farm out back. So once you do that, you just kind of stir it all together as such. To that, we're going to add one jar, one quart jar of turkey broth that we canned right after Thanksgiving with the turkey carcass. We're going to add half a cup of butter. You would like you need to use unsalted butter. The butter is what makes it so creamy. Tomato 
to this mix, we're going to add one teaspoon of salt. We're going to stir this all together. And we're going to let this cook for 40 minutes. I will see you back in 40 minutes. Which in TV time is just a few minutes. While we're waiting on the tomato soup to make, because it takes 40 minutes, we're going to put noodles in our jars. My girls, which is who we're making this soup for today, or the SpaghettiOs for today, like different noodles in their SpaghettiOs. So we're, we're going to put different noodles in here. And you could use any noodle that you want. You can use the traditional O shape, you can use wagon wheels, any of that. You're going to fill the jars about half full of noodles. Cut for some. Ready? just a little too full. We're just going to shake some into his neighbor. You don't want to fill these more than half full because the noodles will expand and there won't be enough room in your jar for them. Since we left large chunks of tomatoes, or large, let's start over. Our soup is now ready. We've simmered it for 40 minutes. Because we left large chunks of onions in the soup, we're going to want to use an immersion blender to blend it all together so that it's nice and smooth and creamy. Okay, okay, so now that our soup is nice and smooth, we're going to take the jars and fill them within one inch of headspace, which is that first ring on a jar. And I'm just going to pick this up, and yes, it is hot. You can see the steam coming off of it. And we're going to do all of our jars this exact same way. Okay, so we got 11 jars from just the one can of tomato sauce. So now we're just gonna put the seals on these. These seals I have already sterilized with almost boiling water. I'm gonna put that one back in there since I touched it.
it's okay to top, touch the top of these lids, but you don't want to touch the bottom of the lids because you don't want to introduce bacteria into your finished product. Even though we are going to pressure cook these, I still want to do it as sterile as I can. Yes, these jars are hot. If you can't handle the heat of the jar, you can get a pot holder or a kitchen towel that will protect your hands. I've been doing this for a little while, so my hands are used to the heat. After this is done, we're going to put it in a pressure cooker. We're going to vent for 10 minutes and pressure cook for 10 minutes. Okay, so we're going to pressure can the SpaghettiOs. If you can see into this pan here, you will see that we have lost the rack that goes into the bottom of it. So we simply use the old canner rings to make ourselves a rack. We're going to put these in here on top of these and I just kind of do this like this okay so we can get 10 jars into this pressure canner the next thing we're going to do is put our lid on it it. We're going to wait and vent it for 10 minutes. Vent it means when the steam comes out of this part right here for 10 minutes. We put our weight on there, 10 pounds, for 10 minutes. We use 10 pounds because we are sea level here. You may want to check and see what your level is to what amount of poundage you need for your pressure cooker. Now this has had 10 minutes of steam. I'm going to put my number 10 pound on there. I'm going to wait for this to start rocking before I start my timer. When this starts rocking, I will reduce my heat and start my timer for 10 minutes. Now that we have processed these for 10 minutes, it has depressurized on its own. We're going to take them out and see what they look like. Just going to tilt them to get the water off the top. These will need to sit 24 hours or at least overnight until they cool so we can take the rings off and put them in our cabinets. 